What's going on everybody? Biker Dave here. Got an item that I'm going to do a reveal, a personal opinion, as well as they're being put up for sale. So I just want to do a little quick video on something pretty awesome. And if you're looking for some superior bling for your dirt bike, these I highly recommend. So let's check them out. Okay, uh, if you're looking for the top of the line custom wheel set for your dirt bike, uh, Talon hubs with Excel Takasago rims is about as good as you can get. And there's only a couple others, you know, from Europe that are anywhere near that caliber. Uh, they're expensive, but they are bulletproof. They're lightweight. They're strong. You can still get parts for them. Uh, they're U.S. made, you know, as far as the hubs are concerned. And um, I've had sets like these on many dirt bikes through my years. They're just fantastic. Now, um, this particular set has a, an almost new set of Michelin Starcross MS3s. Only had, I think, one ride on them. And um, uh, the, uh, the fronts are 1.6 width rim. The rears The, uh, the rears are 19 inch by 2.15 width. And uh, I'll put the exact part numbers because I know, now these are for a Yamaha, you know, YZ 125 and 250. But they can fit other models, so I'll put the part numbers for the hub. Uh, now these will be, you know, on your rear, the axle, needs to be around 21.80 diameter to get through here. Uh, for the front, needs to be about 19.8 roughly. You know, it's very close, but 19.8 inner diameter right there. 21.80 inner diameter right here. So make sure you measure your axle to ensure that they can fit because uh, Yamaha did make a change on some of the four strokes as far as the axle diameter you know so make sure that you know that before you try and purchase these uh, these are in excellent shape they only have a few rides on them I cleaned them just a little while ago uh, almost no major scratches or nicks whatsoever anywhere on them actually um, there is no no brake rotor on either one so note that and no hardware either as far as fasteners for the brake rotor. On the rear, it does have a very nice Iron Man sprocket, uh, 50 teeth, which also has just a ride or so on them. They're in excellent condition. Uh, I'll just look at the ad and I'll show you more close-up photos of everything. The bearings are excellent, of course, because these wheels have almost no time on them. Uh, another nifty thing is the spokes. These have the heavy-duty bulldog spokes with spline drive nipples right there. So you'll need a spline drive wrench, you know, to be able to adjust them. But these have already been broken in and snugged down and all that. But I still recommend you get a spline drive wrench. <clears throat> and look at the photos for that style of wrench because it's not the common style of a spoke wrench. Also, it's got nice uh, Sunline rim locks, front and rear, and um, really slick looking. They're really awesome. There's your tires right there. See, they have only a couple of rides on them. Really good shape. Now, some of you may look at, you know, at custom wheels and you go, well, I can see some a lot cheaper out there. You know, I can get Tusk or Proline or whatever. Let me go ahead and tell you that those do not even compare in the least in quality, durability, uh, lightweight, not even close. I've tried them actually, and they're not, they're not as good. You know, that's why these are so expensive because they are considered the best. Same over here, almost nowhere. You know, here's where you're 
uh, brake disc will go. No disc included, no hardware included as far as that goes. But you do get the spacers, which are almost impossible to find. The spacers, you know, for the front are included and rear. Because I had another set of wheels like this, and I was trying to find just this funky spacer right here. I could not find it anywhere. You know, I mean, at least not for a reasonable price. Uh, but yeah, great shape. Front rim, you're looking at um, 1.60. I'll put part numbers for everything. And again, uh, the rear. Rear looks really good. Uh, the size tires on them, you're looking at a 110, 190, 19 on the rear. Fronts are 80, 100, 21. Again, Michelin Starcross MS3s. Front and rear. And you know, those are expensive to begin with, just the tires. So it's a quite a bonus. That's about all I see. Um, there you go, 19 by 2.15 on the rear rim. And as far as part numbers for the hub, again, I'll put them in the, they're hard to see because they're etched into the billet. You know, these are billet aluminum hubs. All right, here we go. Uh, the rear part number TW. 650ABK. Again, TW650A is an Apple B Boy K kite. All right, and the front hub part number for your reference, you know, make sure you make sure that these can fit your, your bike. Uh, you got a TW731ABK. Again, TW7. 3, 1, A is an apple, B is in boy, K is in kite. And they have uh, serial numbers etched in them also. They're hard to see on camera, so that's why I'm not really showing them to you because they're kind of tough to see. But we'll see if we can get a look at them anyway. Here's the front. So make that part number on the top is the one you want to make sure of that these hubs will fit your bike. Should be for most YZ125 and YZ250, you know, over the past 10 or 15 years, honestly, but some of these can fit some of the earlier four-stroke, you know, YZ250F, 450F as well. I'll see if I can find a good, uh, good fitment list, but there's a lot of, you know, misinformation out there on the internet as far as what fits what with wheels. And on the rear, there you go, that part number on top. So do a cross-reference or contact, you know, uh, the White Brothers or, Cal or Talon, you know, contact them to make sure. They, they should have a fitment list on their website also. I'll try to put a link to it. And that's that. And you see the sprocket, really good condition. Only a couple of rides on this entire set as far as tires and sprockets. And I think the wheels only, the, the wheels only have, I mean, they look like they got a little bit of, a little bit of a sparkle on them, you know, from just random, um, random wear, basically. But, and with a light shining on them, they look even more, Worn than they really are because you look at them on, on outside and on the bike. They look fantastic like like this here Here's a uh, here's a part number for the rear YZ one six One six point oh disc side on the uh, Spacer there you go. 
That's on the brake disc side. And I don't see a part number. Well, hold on, maybe I do. 16.5. I know this is hard to see for you guys, but I'm trying to make sure we... I see... YZ 16.5 sprocket side spacer right there is what I see. <clears throat> Don't see anything on this guy. This one is the funky one though. That one is really hard to find, that spacer right there. Been there, done that. So anyway, we'll try to uh, you know have as much info as we can so that you can tell if these will fit your bike. But these came off of a, uh, I believe, a 2006 or so uh, YZ125, and um, totally sweet. Anyway, that's that. Look for all links down below. We'll have a link to the eBay ad as well because we're putting them up for sale. They are top notch and they are expensive. So um, I know some of you guys who have had these know how that is. Uh, they are quite heavy and bulky so there won't be any free shipping because the shipping price can range pretty far depending on where you live from where we are. So unfortunately, no free shipping for these guys. And they're slightly oversized as well as far as uh, dimensions. That's it. Look for the links down below. Y'all have a great day. We'll see y'all later.